Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I'm out at the Snake River Canyon today at Dedication Point, and I've got the DJI uh, Air 2S. So nothing special here. We're just gonna go out for a little flight. We might try some master shots and some other things. Uh, but one of the uh, one of the special things about being here today uh, is uh, that I'm here with some of the other some people that you might know. So. Uh, here is the uh, the legendary Howdy Mike Wright. Howdy guys, how y'all doing? <laughs> get ready to fly the uh, DJI Mavic 3. Yeah, it's trying it, to get it recalibrated. Yeah, it's calibrating, beeping at you. Got to work on that. Yeah, yeah. And then and then speaking of another legend, he's got his drone up right there. Uh, Dr. Ted Bowman right here. Hey guys. <laughs> he's getting ready to fly. It's a great day to be alive. Great day to be alive. Take a look out over the side of the canyon here. Boy, it's so bright, Marcus. Yeah, no, it's so got to, it's hard, hard to see, isn't it? I know. It's hard to see. Yeah. yeah. I'm going down, buddy. There it goes. There goes that drone. Going over the edge, over the edge of the canyon. Okay. Uh, let's quit messing around. Let's get this bird in the air. <laughs> Hey, okay, I'm all set to take off here, uh, and uh, Dr. Bowman is in the air right now. Mike is having a little trouble connecting to his drone, uh, but he's not going to give up. He's going to work on that. Uh, I am going to, uh, we're shooting in 4K60 in full auto, and we got satellites, we've got 25 sats, so no reason uh, we can't take off. So I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do an automated takeoff here, get out of the way so you can see it. So there's the little drone, the uh, the Air 2S, one of my favorite drones. Uh, I brought the Mavic 3 with me today, but you know what? The Air 2S just seemed like the right drone for this. And the obstacle avoidance uh, will only get us, let us get so close. Let's look at that safety menu. I should have looked at that first. We're going to set it on bypass. Uh, and 30 meters is good enough for what we're doing. As you can see, IMU is normal, uh, compass is normal. Uh, and uh, battery is battery's in great shape, so uh, so we're good to go there. Typically, I would check that before I took off. I forgot to do that, uh, so that's why you have a checklist, and uh, and I missed that. But uh, but anyway, let's take a look at the drone here real quick. I, I like to rock it back and forth so you can see that gimbal in action. See how that gimbal keeps things uh, straight. I tried to come forward with it; it won't come forward because it is in. Uh, in obstacle avoidance mode, in normal mode. And I'm gonna check that again, make sure, yeah, we are in bypass. So in theory, I'm gonna back it up here a little bit. And as we fly in front of us, it should go around us. And it's just coming to a stop, so. So I don't know, it's moving over slowly. And it's, uh, it's looking at Mike over there. There he is. Hey, hey, Mike. You get you getting her going? I don't know. Yet. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do my droney from here. Okay. Here you go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna drop that down. We're centered on Mike. Uh, reverse. In fact, we're gonna throw it in sport mode. Let's do a quick one. Reverse and up now. Reverse and up. This. Uh, one of the things that people uh, tend to forget about with when they buy a drone is, you know, there's drones like the, the mini drones that I, I, they look really good and they're nice, they're great products, but they don't have the power to do what I just did uh, just then with the Air 2S. To do that kind of uh, quick droney, you need a more substantial drone. So Mike is getting a little frustrated here, I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> do you, you need the keys to go back to the car and get the other controller? Ten minutes. Okay. Then I'll go back to the other Okay. Oh, it's, always, it's always something. So Mike has the DJI uh, RC, or uh, the RC Pro, excuse me. Uh, it's easy to get the DJI controllers confused now. So let's, uh, let's come back over the top here. And I'm going to drop the gimbal down as we're coming back over. And you'll see Dr. Bowman there right at the edge. 
And let's slow it up here. In fact, I'm going to go in cinema mode so I can go a little slower. And uh, there is Dr. Bowman working on his uh, drone right now. And Mike will be taking off here soon, just shortly. Oh, inconsistent firmware. Uh, okay, so he's getting that. Mike's getting that fixed. Yep, I think we're good. He's got it. Mike's got it. So we're going into normal mode here, and we are going to do, uh, we're going to set a point of interest here in the middle. Yeah, in other words, I did not start recording, folks, so you're just going to be looking at the screen recording so far. So I'm going to switch into 4K30 so that we can use some of the automated flight modes. So 4K30, and that way we can use focus track. And, and we got it. So, uh, so we're going to do, uh, we're going to do uh, POI. And uh, I am going to speed it up just a little bit. We're going to start recording now. And let's try that again, POI, go. And the drone uh, will automatically rotate on that axis now. Let's, uh, let's speed it up a little bit. So, uh, so the drone is just uh, moving around and you guys are gonna get a look at the, uh, at the area here. And it's, it's, moving, it's moving pretty good. <laughs> so get ready to go back over the side of the canyon there. And there it is. See Dr. Bowman looking up at it there. Okay, let's stop right there. And, uh, and then the other thing that we have is uh, it, with spotlight mode here that is really fun. So, so I'm, going to, uh, I'm going to back up here a little bit. And uh, I'm going to drop that gimbal down. Maybe get a little closer. And I want to, I want to uh, center up on... Uh, Dr. Bowman there. Too small. Try again. And, uh, and we're going to go into spotlight mode. And one of the things you can do in spotlight mode is as I fly the drone, it will keep uh, the point of reference right where I'm at here. So I'm just flying single stick now. And uh, the drone, I'm just holding the, 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 uh, the, the, stick, the right stick to the right and the drone is automatically keeping the camera centered on the point of interest. Handy feature. It's one less thing you have to worry about when you're flying the drone. So now let's back it up a little bit. Do the same thing. And let's, let's, let's fly to the side. And you'll see it automatically turn to keep uh, the point of interest there. And now I'm reversing the stick and it's keeping them exactly in the uh, center of interest. I'm feeling a couple of raindrops. We got a few clouds overhead, but it's nothing that's gonna stop us from flying. Uh, okay, so uh, next thing I wanna do, let's get out of spotlight mode, and I'm gonna bring it in a little bit here, and, and we're, gonna do, uh, we're gonna do a master shot. We might as well. So I'm gonna get centered up, maybe get a little bit higher. And I hear, I hear Dr. Bowman's drone coming in here. And uh, so we are going to go, uh, we're going to uh, stop recording. We're going to go into master shots here. And I'm going to uh, set a point of interest. And yeah, I felt that too. Uh, so let's see, we are going to, let's set the, the parameters of our master shot. We've got everything large, that's what I want. And we're going to start. And it's going to give us a countdown here and it should start recording. Now I can't remember if, if I had to tell it to go into 4K or this might just be 1080p. Uh, but it's, uh, it's starting the master shot now. It's doing a droney first. And Ted, you're the star of my, of my master shot here. It's centered on you. <laughs> uh. I'm coming home. <laughs> okay. So Ted's dropping down right now. Mike is doing, uh, I'm gonna, uh, Mike is doing a little uh, calibration on his uh, Mavic 3 here. 
and Ted is landing. And the master shot now is doing a circle far, it says. Oh, now it's going to pitch up and fly forward. Which, yeah, we're way above uh, Ted's altitude there, so we're good to go. I can see both drones. And now it's starting a close, close circle. That's a fantastic drone, isn't it, Ted? So Ted's doing an auto landing just right on the gravel here, so that's perfect. And you guys probably saw that. Oh, it's starting to rain just a little bit more now, but I don't, you know, these clouds aren't thick enough that it's going to do anything to bother us too much. In fact, it feels kind of good, to be honest with you. And now it's doing a rocket, so it'll be right over the top of us. Honestly, a little more, a little more rain than I thought. But these clouds, you know, looking at these broken clouds above us, and they just don't look like, uh, like they could drop that much rain. But they, there's definitely something coming down. So now it's doing a camera down circle. And straight and descend, it says. And there you see the canyon. And it'll even put together a little, a little uh, music video for us here. And there's Dr. Bowman. He's uh, in the air again. And let's see. Yeah, so now it's, uh, it's playing back the video for us. I'm going to stop that. Yeah, I don't need to see that. And uh, okay, so we're good here again. So there's, uh, let me turn around and see if I can get you a picture of uh, Dr. Bowman's drone. I can't tell if I can see it on the, uh... let's look forward. We should see him there. I can't actually see it on my FPV here, but there's Ted right there. So, okay, I am down to 57% uh, battery. We are gonna come back over the top of the side of the canyon. Sorry for some abrupt flight there. And, uh, and Mike is getting ready to take off here too, so we'll see if we can, we'll see if we can get Mike's take off. Back it up a little bit. You see my two friends right there. Manned aircraft nearby. Yeah, he's, he's quite a ways off from us and he's way higher than us. So I'm seeing manned aircraft on ADSB, but he's nowhere near us. And much, much higher. Okay, so, uh, I'd like to catch Mike's takeoff is what I'd like to do. Let's go back into cine mode. Let's see if we can get closer here. And I think, yeah, it looks like, I don't, I don't know if Mike is still calibrating or, yeah, he's calibrating as well. I thought he was gonna take off from there, but he's calibrating. So we'll let him do that. Uh, and I hear the aircraft that's on ADSB here, but he is way to the west of us, so not a factor in anything that we're doing here. Uh, but it's cool that, in fact, I got eyes on him right now. Yeah, he's, he's way to the west of us and now to the north. But it's cool that you have ADSB to see that. So let's, uh, let's move forward here and see what these guys are doing. Dr. B is flying and, and uh, Mike is uh, calibrating that drone. Bring it down a little bit. There's, there's uh, true <laughs> two drone masters at work. And boy, we're, we're getting some rain. There's only kind of one cloud above us that's very dark at all, but it's amazing how much rain is coming out of it. But I don't think it's enough that's gonna affect our drones at all. So uh, let's, uh, let's see, we're at 47% battery. I am, in, I'm gonna throw it in normal mode here. And, uh, and let's, uh, I just realized I am still in, uh, I was not recording video, so let's start video. And so you guys had screen recorder for much of that, but let's, uh, let's go reverse, let's do a slow reverse and up now. 
and there's there's the guys right there and so you can see uh, you know as we're as we're from where we're taking off at it looks awful small from here doesn't it from where the drone is sitting uh, a lot of fun so are you clear for takeoff Mike it says normal calibration I'm gonna go ahead and I should really calibrate three times yeah IMU. never would do it yeah. It still says normal, so I'm going to go with normal. Going to go with normal. I'm, I'm, I'm with you there. I, want, I was going to go fly down the canyon, but I want to see if I can catch your takeoff. So Mike is taking off right now. And you're probably not going to see it, and I'm going to stay clear enough so that he doesn't have to worry about me. Uh, but so, let's see. In the meantime here, I'm going to go down river. We're about 21 meters high. Let's throw this guy in sport mode and let's uh, let's see what this baby can do. Let's get out over the uh, canyon itself. That's everybody's favorite. Get to that rule of thirds. And Mike has just gotten taken off and he's checking everything out. And uh, there's my uh, Air 2S flying out over the canyon. I'm watching it out there. Uh, it's pretty cool. And it's tilted forward, let me tell you. Let's see, how fast are we going? We're at 20 meters per second. That's nearly as fast as the Mavic 3. The Mavic 3 is not much faster than that. Uh, 20 meters per second, that's going to be about 43, 44 miles an hour, something like that. So that's quite a bit. So we kind of got the we kind of got the sun at our back here a little bit. And we're down to about uh, 32%. So I, what I'm going to tell you is, before I get too carried away, discretion is the better part of valor. I don't think I gave this guy too good of a look at the uh, landing pad to do a, a, a decent uh, precision landing, but we can try it. So I'm going to kick her into return to home here. And let's bring this guy back. And there I see Mike uh, heading down river. And I hear Dr. B, but oh, there's the drone that's right above us. And I'm dropping the, uh, the gimbal down as we come back. I'm coming back in for a landing, guys. I'm coming back in to land. Just want to let you know. Air traffic control, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I'm still about 400 meters out. So the cool thing about auto return to home is you can focus on the camera uh, rather than flying the drone. I know a lot of people say it's just for emergencies. I don't see it that way. I look into me like we got a pretty neat picture here and I'm able to drop the, uh, the gimbal down as we, as we come in here. And you know, I always like seeing if the drone will, uh, how accurate it can be. And uh, you know, I'm kind of used to the Mavic 3 where it starts descending before it comes in. This drone does not do that. It's at its 30 meter return to home height. If you look on the screen recording, it's pretty damn close to that pad, but yeah, now it moved off a little bit. We'll see how it does. We'll see if it sees it. And uh, if it does not, I will pause and we'll go from there. But it's coming down, and even if it landed where it's at now, it's right on gravel there, it wouldn't hurt a thing. Some pretty firm gravel. I just don't want to land in a bush or something like that. And it does not look like it's going to see the pad. So I, uh, I canceled that. And uh, what I'm going to do is back the drone up a little bit. We're going to throw it in cinema mode here. And we're going to see if we can get over the top of the pad. There we are. And let's pull that stick straight down and see if we can get on the pad. And it should lift the camera here. And it did, and there we are on the pad with 20% battery. So uh, let me get everything shut down and we'll do a quick conclusion. Hey guys, so I just landed the drone, but uh, talking to Ted and he, uh, he's got his drone flying uh, close to the bottom of the canyon. 
which I, I've always had signal issues trying to go down. Of course, I'm usually shooting from further back. Oh, holy cow, yeah, you are down there a ways. I'm doing, I'm doing a Marcus Droney. You sure as heck are, holy cow. Yeah, negative, what's it show for negative altitude there? Uh, minus, you're minus 200 feet. You're 200 feet before your uh, below your takeoff. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> uh, yeah. well, we'll see what it looks like. But, but I can see why, because you're close to the edge, and so it can shoot down. I'm usually, I usually try and do it from up there, and I never... I can't get down very far before I lose signal, yeah. 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 Where are you at? You hit a return to home? Yeah, I'm returning home here. Yeah. Have you even flown yet, Marcus? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah, I did. I was doing master shots and a bunch of other stuff, so. See, I, I haven't really developed the use of master shots. I need to do that. They I do need so, to it, expand my horizons a bit. It's a pretty cool feature, and it, it will fly the drone in ways that uh, it's better than me. I, I'll tell you that. I can't fly it that precision with that precision. A couple of masters at work right there. And so Mike, Mike is doing a precision landing. Let me see if I can turn the camera around here so you can see it. Yeah, there you can see it. So, uh, pretty cool that that drone, on right on target. I mean, the drone found the perfect. found the pad closer. perfect. Yeah, yeah, that is pretty darn cool. Pretty darn cool. Ah, that's cool. That's uh, that's the goodness of DJI. <laughs> Hey, well, Mike says he, Mike says he's going to take take off again. So let's 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 get that on video here before we do our conclusion. We'll see Mike's take off here. There it is. I don't tend to use automatic takeoff. No, yeah, you just yeah. I know how to do it. I just don't do it. I do some of both. Yeah, yeah. Hey, okay. Uh, the DJI Air 2S continues to be one of my favorite drones by far. And in fact, uh, before I bought the Mavic 3, I would have said this is the best drone that I own. And it's still right up there. It still, to me, is the best value in drones today. Dollar for dollar, you get more with this drone than, than any other. Uh, but that said, so out here at the Snake River Canyon, we tried a bunch of things with the drone. We did uh, some master shots, did some uh, spotlight mode, etc. And, uh, you know, out here with good friends, having a good time with, uh, with Mike Wright and Ted Bowman. Uh, Ted is flying his Air 2S, Mike is flying his Mavic 3, and, uh, and we're just having fun. So, that's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I absolutely appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And of course, we'll see you on the next one. Bye now. The DJI Air 2S. Love this drone. See you guys later.